you have a favorite celebrity singer, musician, or athlete that you really like, like and admire? Well, I want you to imagine you look on your phone today and you see the news that this celebrity has been living in your town for the last three or four weeks in a very ritzy, gated community of multi-million dollar homes. So you laugh to yourself, oh, maybe I'll run into them at the local Walmart. And you head out to work and on the way back tonight, you stop at a gas station to get some gas. And while you're there, you go in and get some supplies and you see the lottery ticket situation and say, oh, I better buy one. I might win a few bucks. So you buy a lottery ticket. And the next day when you're at work, you remember about the lottery ticket and you pull it out to look at the numbers and hope that you won $50 or so. But lo and behold, you've won $50 million. Wow, you're a multimillionaire. Now, depending on the state or even the country that you live in, you pay a lot of taxes. So let's say you come away with like 26 million and the government, the state, whoever takes 24 million. But you're still a multimillionaire. And one of the things you think of is, hey, I need a bigger house for my family. And your mind says, huh, I wonder if there's any houses available where my celebrity friend lives. So you call up the estate area and they tell you, well, we just released 10 new homes yesterday and had just been finished. And we have a model home if you'd like to come and look at it. So you make an appointment to go to the model home. You get there all excited and uh, you're looking at the office and the pictures on the wall. And the agent gives you all the information that most of the homes, the new homes, are four to five million dollars each. But hey, you're a multimillionaire, who cares? And so the agent said, let's go look at the model home and you get a better idea. So you're just about to leave and as you're heading towards the door, in comes your celebrity friend. And your eyes kind of get bigger like saucers. And the celebrity says, hello, are you thinking of buying a house here? And you say, uh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> you get kind of speechless. And finally you say, yes, I am. And the celebrity says, well, hey, I love living here. Let me show you the model home. I'll take you around. So the celebrity takes you all around the model home. And you're having a tough time concentrating on the home because you're so enamored of this celebrity. But eventually the, the tour is over and the celebrity shakes hands and leaves. And you go to the agent and say, I'm going to buy a house. And so you put down the $5 million for a house. Imagine how excited you'd be if that happened to you, your celebrity coming all the way out to show you around your new house. <laughs> Do you know that Jesus himself is preparing a place for you? In John chapter 14, verses 1 to 4, Jesus says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. And if there are mansions in my Father's house, I go and prepare a place for you, that where I am you may be also. And I will come and take you there. Whew. Talk about mind blowing. Jesus himself is preparing a place for you that where he is, you may be also. And he will come and take you when it's time to go. Now, I don't know about you, that's a lot more exciting than the celebrity showing me around that model home. But that's the promise Jesus gave you in John chapter 14, verses 1 through 4. He himself. Not an angel, but he himself is preparing a place for you. That where he is, you may be also. So the next time you feel a little bit down and unloved and wondering if God cares about you, read John chapter 14. Of course, read the whole chapter, but particularly for this story, read verses 1 through 4 and realize that Jesus is talking about you. He's talking about you are the one he is preparing a place for. You are the one he will come and take and take to be with him when the time is right. That's how special you are to God. I hope that blesses you today far more than being with a sinner than every day ever would. And I just pray that it would become part of your life and deep in your soul and your heart and your spirit. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you'll be notified whenever we release new videos, which is every couple of days.